Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC. And generally, I'm talking to you about the things that I carry in my pockets or gear that you can carry in your pockets. But sometimes there are essential items that I just don't ever leave the house without that I don't necessarily consider part of my EDC, but are always there, like literally always there. So that's what this video is about. The 10 essentials that I can't live without. The things that if I lose them or break them, I immediately replace them. So these are the 10 essential items that I can't live without. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. very first item on this list is going to come as a surprise to literally nobody, a hat. I don't think I really ever go without a hat. I basically wear a hat every single day, 99% of the time. If I'm going to a formal event, not wearing a hat, and some days, just on the rare occasion, I won't wear a hat. And one of the reasons I'm growing my hair out is so that I don't have to wear a hat every day. Seems counterintuitive, but you'll see what I mean later. My hair's crazy. It's really hard to tame, and when it's longer, it just... It just kind of acts better. So definitely always have a hat. This is a Richardson 112. This is the ass hat that we have on carry commission. Um, I have a few spare Richardsons over here. I have some older Richardsons up there. I have a Richardson in my truck. I have some at home. I always have one of these hats nearby. So if I forget one, for whatever reason, I have another, always. Of course, I don't work out in this hat because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So to keep myself from looking like Richard Simmons, I wear a hat in the gym like this, just a little uh, lightweight, quick drying hat. I bought this thing for backpacking. It's phenomenal. I will probably buy another one when it breaks or wears out, but this is just a, a Tillock hat that I got off Amazon. Really like it. So uh, always, always have a hat. The second item on this list, I go without this even less than I go without a hat, and that would be a watch. I can count on my hand, one hand, the number of times I've gone without a watch basically in the last decade or longer, probably longer. And that is zero. I really don't ever go without a watch. Sometimes I'll say that smartwatch will actually leave a little rash on my wrist and it's not the silicone band. Sometimes that will, but generally it's this part right here, the heart rate monitor and all the sensors and stuff, something about that glass being pressed up against my wrist causes it to rash up, but it usually clears up in a few hours. So if I take my watch off for a few hours, it's fine. But as you guys know, I've been getting a lot of questions. I've been wearing the Apple Watch Ultra. What are my thoughts? It's it's an Apple Watch. I can go in more depth later, but still an Apple Watch. And this watch on my wrist today, the one that I've worn in the last few videos, I've been getting a ton of questions about this watch right here. And this is the RZE Resolute Super Compressor. It's an all titanium super compressor, yellow dial, I think this thing is sweet. It is super lightweight. It feels durable. It looks great. I love it. Um, go check them out, RZE. They sent this for me to check out and another watch. I really like what they're doing. Whether it's this watch, my Damasco, or one of my many other watches, or the Garmin Mark or Apple Watch Ultra, I always have a watch on my wrist, period. I just feel that I'm a little more aware of time when I have a watch on my wrist and I can just quickly check and see how much time I've wasted that day, really. Um, but it, it, just having that quick access to look at what the time is and, and check things and, and often with a smartwatch time things, um, I just feel that I, I'm a more efficient person, which I'm not a very efficient person, but I would hate to see myself without a watch on my wrist. Many of you may know this, but some of you may not. Before the Best Damn EDC, there was the Best Damn Coffee. So number three on this list is coffee. I go to a coffee shop every single morning, Groundwork Common here in Concord, great coffee. And if I'm traveling, one of the first things that crosses my mind is where can I get the best cup of coffee? It's just something I do. I like trying new coffee shops when I'm traveling, but when I'm traveling, I also bring coffee with me. And this is something I bring with. If I'm backpacking, I'm road tripping, camping, I'm bringing this coffee right here. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to stock it on carry commission. A lot of people probably weren't sure why I had just had coffee. It seemed a little random, but that's because I do consider this kind of an EDC item. I almost always have a little packet of this around. It's easy to carry with you and you have coffee wherever you go. Simple as that. Cold, hot, doesn't matter. Coffee. Juno coffee, I think is some of the best instant coffee I've ever tried. It's pretty reasonably priced and uh, you can just throw packets in your backpack or wherever. Easy access. 
instant coffee. Instant coffee doesn't suck. You just have to buy the right kind. Before we go any further, I want to thank our sponsor for today's video, Quadlock. You guys know I've been carrying Quadlock cases for years now. I absolutely love their cases and I don't have to worry about my phone because I know that they are rugged, they're durable, they look great, and they are interoperable with so many things in my life. First and foremost is the quad ring. I use this every single day, all the time. I could not go without this now and it's so nice. And if I don't want it, I could just pop it out. It doubles as a phone stand as well, but it's removable, which exposes the best part of the quad lock cases, that quad lock mechanism. So they make mounts for everything you can think of. You just snap it in, lock it in place, and it's extremely secure. But more recently, quad lock upgraded their cases to have this mag ring right here. So that green ring pops out. It originally comes as black. You can accessorize it with a bunch of different colors, blue, red, green, orange, pink, all sorts of colors, make it your own but that adds magnetic abilities to the case. You can snap this thing to anything that is ferrous. So say you're in the kitchen cooking, using both hands, you don't wanna get your phone dirty. You can just pop your phone on the side of your refrigerator and keep working, reference that recipe or video chat, whatever it is that you're doing. And now they have magnetic attachments for the mounts that they make. So when I hop in my truck, I throw this thing on the mount. I don't even have to look. The mags just pull it into place. And because it's a wireless charging head as well, it automatically charges. It's so effortless, I don't even think about it anymore. And it's just one of those things that once you try it, you're never gonna go back. I've got a mount on my desk as well. I have one on my nightstand. I use these mag mounts everywhere. So if you wanna check out everything Quadlock has to offer and find some mounts for your phone that you didn't even know you needed in your life, hit the link in the description down below. And once again, I wanna thank Quadlock for sponsoring this video. So number four on this list is gonna seem pretty straightforward to many of you, but I never go anywhere without a pocket knife. Today I've got the Herman Sting in my pocket. This is just a beautiful knife in and of itself. But in Texas a couple of months ago, I didn't take a knife because I didn't check a bag. I didn't really have an option and I didn't want to pay $60 round trip just to be able to bring a knife with me. It didn't make sense. So no knife. And it felt really weird. That would have been the first time in years and years and years that I haven't had a knife. Anytime I go to say an amusement park or anywhere where I can't take a knife, I feel naked and weird and awkward. It just doesn't feel right. So always have a knife on me. Generally, it's something just very stout, sometimes kind of big and oversized like the Umnumzan or the McNeese PM Mac 2. More recently, it's not always a folder. More recently, I've been carrying more fixed blades like this Scout 2.5 from Griffin Co. Just whatever it is, I need a cutting tool on my person all the time. In that same vein, another cutting tool that I always have on me is a utility knife of some sort. Pretty much nonstop since the release of this tool right here, it has been the TPT slide, but I've also been known to carry the uh, Giltec Ruck or the Rexford Rut, many different utility knives out there. I always try out some new ones but I always come back to this one. That's why I have a version of this with my logo on it. And that's because I really genuinely love this tool. That is one of the things I did take to Texas with me. I didn't have an actual sharp blade in it. I had the safe insert that comes with the TPT slide, but I still had it with me and that will open packages and stuff, but it's definitely not sharp and it's definitely not a knife. Oh, and a little side note, this right here, this, is not a metal blade. That's a ceramic blade, total game changer. Number six on this list is a water bottle. Lately, it's been this Vargo para bottle, which I've talked about a few times now, not exactly worth the price tag, but it's a sweet bottle nonetheless. Um, I carry it because I paid for it, but sometimes it's just a hydro flask. Sometimes it's just a basic blender bottle or that Zojirushi. I, no matter what it is, I always have a bottle with me. One, because I like to be able to make coffee. If I'm going somewhere, I can just throw that in there, fill it with water and I'm good to go. If I'm traveling, I bring a bottle, pour it out before going through TSA and then fill it up with water as soon as I get through. It's just economical, it's smart. And I don't drink enough water. Most of us don't. And having this on me sort of encourages me to drink more water, even though I don't drink the gallon that I try to every day. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. Today, I'm working on the second one of these. So I will drink two more of these before the end of the day that I've, I've started trying to fast and get healthier again. So water is an essential part of that. So I will always have a water bottle with me. The next item on the list is kind of a twofer. I'm, I'm cheating a little bit, but it's Bluetooth, both headphones 
and speakers. I always have something like this on me. Every day I have a pair of AirPods Pro in my pocket, no matter what, always have these with me. I just don't like holding a phone up to my head anymore. I don't like speaker phones, so I throw these in. If somebody calls me, I'm throwing AirPods Pro in every time. That's just the only way I take a call anymore. Editing, sitting at the computer, whatever it may be, or gaming, I'm connecting my AirPods Max. For the last, I don't know how many years I've been using Sony, the XM3s and XM4s. I really like those a lot, but I like these better for other reasons. Like battery life on the Sony's is exceptional, just like unbelievable battery life on those. The battery life on these suck. You can plug in like 3.5 to the Sony's. You can't do that with these, but if the Sony's die, you can't charge them while listening to them. You can with these. I mean, there's just so many trade-offs. I can't choose a favorite, but these just feel ultra premium. They sound great. And I, I'm so deep into the Apple ecosystem. These work with everything so well. Like I can connect them to my Apple TV without having to repair or anything. My phone, my laptop, my iPad, it just connects with everything so seamlessly. And with the Sony's, I had to disconnect, turn them off, repair it with everything every time I wanted to switch a device. So kind of a no brainer to go AirPods Max other than the fact that they're super expensive for what they are. But that is paying the Apple tax, I guess. Just sucking me in deeper. Headphones always have a pair with me, no matter what. But these speakers, uh, this one in particular, I was talking about this in the Georgia Bushcraft video. This little Mifa speaker is also a lantern and it sounds incredible. It's got some 30 hour battery life. This thing is not cheap, but really, really, really awesome. You can also connect multiples in stereo, which is really cool as well. But uh, I have not ponied up the money for a second one. I didn't even buy this one. This was sent to me by that company. I also have a giant, um, ion speaker that i really like i got it on amazon i just wheel it around when we're out like when my kids are playing in the backyard i've got that thing playing music usually frozen or you know emo's not dead playlist or something like that but yeah uh absolutely always have bluetooth speakers and headphones nearby i sit in a lot of dark rooms editing and when i come outside it's like vampire entering the sun like i just can't deal with it so the eighth item on this list is sunglasses. Lately, it's been the Ombras that I talked about in the unusual EDC video. I really like those. I left them at home today, which proves my point. I always have a spare set of sunglasses nearby. Um, there are three or four pairs in my truck. I had a pair in my backpack. There was a pair in my gym bag. I always have sunglasses and it's either gonna be the Ombras, which are typically around my neck, or these right here. These are the Distill Union Folly sunglasses, and I also really love these. I think these are my pick for like the best sunglasses for the bang. Best sunglasses for the bang. Best bang for buck sunglasses would be the Distill Union Folly because they are flexible and mostly unbreakable, uh, and they're magnetic. You can stick these to things. Do they stick to the phone case? No. Oh, yes, they do. Barely but they will stick to a knife. There you go. Uh, I get questions about these usually when I do a video in the truck and see people see me stick them to my visor so quickly. There's a magnetic strap around my visor and then these just stick to it really easily. So yeah, super handy. I, I really like them a lot and I don't like carrying my sunglasses around my shirt collar because when my beard gets a little longer, I get beard oil on them. So with these, you can snap them to your shirt sleeve, which looks weird, but it's just handy. <laughs> the next item on the list is a flashlight. Uh, I always, 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 always have a flashlight in my pocket. In fact, I think the most used item in my EDC other than my phone is going to be my flashlight. And that's just because I, I, I'm a night owl. I'm always up at night. I let my dog out at night. I'm going from my house to my shop and forget the light. Like whatever it may be, I'm always using a light to find things under stuff. Like I always use my flashlight. It's just the most handy thing around. Don't go anywhere without one ever. And speaking of, cause I know you guys are going to ask about the Apple watch ultra, the flashlight on this thing. I don't know if this one has an extra bright screen or what, but that works so freaking well in a dark room. So that's how I've been coping with these Phoenix flashlights. Not having a moonlight mode is the flashlight function on the Apple watch. So, there's a little trade off there. All right, and the last item was gonna be a pair of boots. And I think it should should still be, if I'm gonna be honest, 
but I don't have a good pair of boots right now. So these are my Red Wing Iron Rangers and I liked them for the longest time. Lately, they've been hurting my feet. I don't, I don't know why. I wore them, I would say 85% of the time for the last year, no problems. And then in the last two months, my feet have been hurting. So I, I don't know if I can attribute that to these, but that's not really why I don't consider these my greatest boots. This right here is, you might've seen it on my Instagram story. Do you see that right there? I have a hole in the side of my Iron Rangers. I don't even know how that happened, but it, it's kind of a bummer, right? Like I bought some 300 and some dollar boots, wore them for a year and got a hole in the side that's not even repairable really. Like you could stitch it, but there's always gonna be a hole there. You can't make these things watertight anymore, which for me, I, I still wear them, but I'm not as jazzed on them, especially after my buddy Carl Morawski here, you could go subscribe to him if you wanna know about boots and other menswear stuff, but uh, really awesome dude. He sent me a pair of NYX boots. They are phenomenal and make these just feel cheap. I'm not even joking. Although they are almost twice the price. Um, the NYX boots are just fantastic and I'm probably going to buy a pair, but until then, I don't really have a solid pair of boots that I love. The iron Rangers have just been all right. They're okay. But after trying those NYX boots, which didn't actually fit my feet, so I'm gonna have to send them back, but uh, man, there's no going back. That's just, you You try out something that makes you what you thought was the best pair of boots you ever bought feel like, eh. And it's really tough to put these on and be like, man, these I love these things. I don't love these anymore. They're fine. They're okay, but they do kind of hurt my feet. That might be a me problem. I don't know. But boots would be the 10th the item on this list, but I, I just don't have a good pair right now. So I'm gonna audible with Something that is definitely seasonal, but uh, this right here, this puffer, this is, you can see the logo, a Prometheus Design Works puffer. Oh my God. I thought that I loved my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2. I loved that jacket. It no longer fits me because my shoulders are too big, but uh, this jacket right here is absolutely one of my favorite things I own. It is stretchy which none of the other puffers that I have are. This thing stretches. It's also lined in the inside of the hood with this like microfiber material and inside the pockets. And you can flip this thing inside out and turn it into a pillow. I, I absolutely love this thing. And, and just to kind of give a little story on why I'm including this, even though it's something that's highly seasonal, I thought that this thing was ruined a couple of weeks ago or a couple months ago. And I thought I was out of a jacket and I instantly went and put one in my cart and I was like, well, maybe let me try to salvage this one. So long story, we moved into a new house. This thing got put at the bottom of a pile of clothes and my wife spilled uh, like laundry detergent in the laundry room, thought she cleaned it all up, but it got soaked up into this thing. This thing was absolutely loaded with laundry detergent and it did not look good. It did not look like I was gonna be able to salvage it. So I immediately went to Prometheus Design Works and put another one in my cart so that I would have one. Um, it, it ended up being that I could salvage it. I washed it five times <laughs> to get all the detergent out and I had to dry it for hours and hours and hours, but we salvaged it. But truly, if this thing were to fail on me tomorrow, like for whatever reason, if I tore it or it got ripped or whatever, if it got ruined in any way, I would buy one, another one immediately. This jacket is just so sick it's so comfortable it's so warm um, and this isn't necessarily a super lightweight backpacking jacket but this is the one i take backpacking it's worth the extra weight because it's just so comfortable all the other ones are kind of constricting i'm a bigger guy i got big shoulders and it i just i have to size up my puffer and i don't like the way that feels this right here being stretchy it's amazing so puffer but especially more specifically, that puffer from Prometheus Design Works. Another just real quick, like honorable mention, I don't have them here, but Crocs. Like if you're not on the Croc gang, you're just out of your damn mind. They're so convenient and comfortable and they're good for like everything. So Crocs, that's 11, don't care. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what your 10 items that you cannot go without are in the comments down below. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Hope it was helpful. Everything I talked about will be linked down below. 
And uh, if you want to support what I'm doing here, you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestmbdc. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, carry on.